Candy House Hansel and Gretel lived with their father and stepmother. They were very poor and had little food. One night, the stepmother had a plan. She told the father to take the children to the forest. She wanted to leave them there. The father did not want to do it. But he was too weak to refuse. Hansel heard their plan and told Gretel. Hansel collected small white stones. He put them in his pocket. The next day, the father took them to the forest. Hansel dropped the stones on the ground. He left a trail behind them. When they reached the deep forest, the father left them. Hansel and Gretel waited until dark. They followed the trail of stones back home. The stepmother was very angry. She planned to take them farther away. Hansel and Gretel were scared but brave. The next day, the stepmother took them to the forest again. This time, Hansel could not collect stones. He had to use bread crumbs instead. As they walked, Hansel dropped the crumbs. They reached a deeper part of the forest. The stepmother and father left them again. Hansel and Gretel waited until dark. But when they tried to follow the crumbs, they were gone. The birds had eaten all the crumbs. Hansel and Gretel were lost. They wandered through the forest. They were tired and hungry. Suddenly, they saw a strange house. It was made of bread and candy. Hansel and Gretel were amazed. They began to eat the house. A voice called out from inside the house. Who is eating my house, it said. An old woman came out. She looked kind and gentle. She invited them inside. Hansel and Gretel were happy. They did not know the old woman was a witch. She planned to eat them. The witch locked Hansel in a cage. She made Gretel cook food for Hansel. She wanted to make him fat. Hansel was clever. He used a bone to trick the witch. She thought he was still thin. The witch grew impatient. She told Gretel to check the oven. Gretel pretended not to understand. The witch became angry and showed her. As the witch bent over, Gretel pushed her inside. She locked the oven door quickly. The witch screamed, but it was too late. Gretel freed Hansel from the cage. They found treasure in the house. Hansel and Gretel filled their pockets. They ran out of the house. They followed a path through the forest. After many days, they found their way home. Their father was very happy to see them. The stepmother had gone away forever. Hansel and Gretel showed their father the treasure. They were never poor again. The family lived happily together. Hansel and Gretel were brave and clever. Their story was told for generations. And so, they lived happily ever after.